Okay, I'd like to spend a little bit of time looking at the graphical user interface over here. We've got uh, some live one megahertz waveforms coming in on this scope. Um, of course, it's got a, a kind of a unique feature in that there are a number of different windows that can be opened and moved around and sized according to what your needs are. So they can be all put on and moved around independently of each other here. And actually, I've got a whole bunch of them open at the same time. They're just behind this main scope display. But this is the scope display here, along with the uh, four of the eight channels of the digital logic display up on top here. And over to the left is the main CleverScope control panel right here, which you can use to set up your acquisition and your trigger. And that's, that's mainly what this screen is for here, but there's a number of pull-down menus that allow us to view all the other different screens that are available, and there's a lot of them. So putting it simply, that this application is probably one of the most comprehensive applications that you will find on the market today for a PC connected oscilloscope. Let me just move this down and you can see some of these that I was trying to talk about. You don't have to move it down but you can just you can reduce it. There's a signal information screen which provides um, numerical data on whatever parameters of interest are and um, Here's a, a spectrum display that we have running. Um, here's a uh, XY display that's available as well. And then there's the logic display or tr tracking display, which is actually set up just to look at the logic gates right now. And um, those are just some of the ones that are available. There's one of the most unique features about this is the mass equation builder, which I can bring up here, which allows people to write equations and send them to send the results of those equations to certain locations and then reuse those to develop an output waveform which then shows up on the mass display which is another separate window here this mass equation builder has an awful lot of different uh, functions there's a here's a list of them right here and also processes which includes integration and differentiation. You can see a large number of choices right here, including some for MATLAB. So there's a, a lot of things that can be done with this. Um, and it's something that you need to learn over time because, as I said, there is so much depth to it. Now, in a later um, video, what we're going to concentrate on is the new frequency response analyzer right here and there's a special control panel just for that and so because we're going to spend a lot of time on this one uh, we'll put this one away for the time being but at any rate I just wanted to uh, give you an idea of the, the the sheer depth that this this graphical user interface has now we're we're going to take a look inside the the hardware boxes in a moment now. Mm.